Hello riders and welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell and today we're going to take a look at some more footage that was released uh, I think last week with the Sabretooth video. This is an actual battle. We're going to actually watch a full battle take place in the game at least early on. This is about 10 to 12 hours into the game and as you can see on screen here we have the hunter character uh, or at least a version of her. Obviously we can customize this character any way we want so it'll look different for most of us I'm sure and uh, and then we have Doctor Strange and Blade in the background and they are in limbo. And you can see up in the right corner, it says daytime, Tuesday, drizzling rain. <laughs> and it says some uh, objectives on the top left. Robbie Reyes, speak to Ghost Rider, item bench, new combat, you know, whatever. And here, this is a limbo that magic opens up portals. So when you're at the Abbey and you're getting ready to go to battle, uh, you know, you pick your mission and magic will open up a portal and that's what you walk through. And then you end up in limbo and then you walk through the other side and that's how you end up here in battle. And this is alpha gameplay footage, which is captured on PC. So it does look pretty good, but there's a chance that this will look better, uh, you know, once the game is complete and comes out. So I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, they're still working through bugs and everything like that. But this is neat because we actually get a full battle here. And this was presented to us by Carolyn Guevara, who is one of the producers of the game, uh, Jake Solomon, the creative director, and Garth DeAngelis, who is the franchise producer. So we have, like I said, Hunter, Strange, Blade. We're in battle now. We got Hydra agents. This is about 10 to 12 hours in, as I said earlier. And it looks like, and that's what's interesting to me, because we already watched the Sabretooth video and footage, and it sounds like Crossbones from Hydra hired Sabretooth to come in and try to take down the Hunter, because Lilith and others know, uh, Dr. Faustus and everyone, know that, you know, the Hunter might pose a real threat to their plans. So they're trying to stop her, I guess, before she becomes too powerful. So at the end of this battle, she does get separated from Blade and Doctor Strange, who, although the Hunter is apparently equipped to take down Lilith, uh, obviously Blade and Doctor Strange are no slouches. Like, they're, they're total BAs, right? Like, they can fight and, uh, and they could do some damage. But uh, apparently the Hunter is the one that they're more concerned about because the Hunter has actually defeated Lilith before. But in this battle here, what they go over is, uh, is you know, at the beginning, you kind of saw in the bottom right-hand corner, you saw a number, which is where the heroism is. We're going to talk about that in a second. Blade just did a basic attack there. Uh, card played refunded. So as you do things, as you KO characters, it looks like you can win cards back or at least, you know, um, improve, maybe get another redraw or, or anything like that. Um, so you can see it says three cards, pl uh, three card plays, one move, two redraws in the bottom right hand corner next to the number one uh, above heroism. And underneath that at the beginning, it said item. So there was, uh, you can bring items into battle. You can find items and other things at the Abbey. You can upgrade abilities. And these abilities, um, each character has unique abilities that you can upgrade, like I said, at the Abbey between battles. But those abilities are kind of transferred into cards. And that's what you use in battle. So you can see the cards down at the bottom there. They got four cards left. And uh, they used, you know, they got two card plays left in this move. And then they'll have to redraw. So they already did one redraw. So basically at the beginning of each match, they'll give you a couple cards, usually about six. Um, and then from there, you get your, how many cards you can play how many moves you have for you know your team, uh, how many redraws you get, and how many items you have to use. And then once you go through the cards, you have you know the chance to do redraws. So it'll basically give you another, it'll bring you back up to six cards, I believe. Um, and then on the far left over there, you see Doctor Strange's name with basically his hit points and his power. So you know how powerful he is currently, and you can you know plan and use that as your strategy to fight you know bad guys. So you know when you're gonna die or you're getting weaker or whatever. Uh, you know when to heal up. Um, so that's, uh, w that leads us into what types of cards there's going to be in this game, which is the attack card, which is very straightforward. That's something Blade used earlier that we saw where he just basically does an attack and there's some animation to it. Then there's the skill card and that can be used as offensive moves or defensive moves. So you can buff your allies, you can, you know, bulk them up, get them more powerful, make their attacks, you know, hurt more. Um, or you can, you know, heal them if you need to heal them, whatever your abilities are, that usually comes from skill. And those are things, again, you can find at the Abbey and you can upgrade them like, throughout the game. But uh, but what we just saw there with Doctor Strange was a the third type of card, which is a heroic card. So during battle on the bottom right, you're gonna build up heroism. Um, and that has that little number there. And as you build up enough heroism, some of your heroic cards will say, okay, if you have four or five heroism, you can now use this card and it's gonna deliver essentially like a super move. Um, and it'll enhance whatever your heroic ability is on that card. So if you have like a healing ability or an attack ability, it'll enhance it to where it's like a super move 
and you'll attack either multiple people at once or it's like a surefire ko you know for one villain or whatever um so those are the different types um the three main types of cards attack skill and heroic and doing different abilities and attacks throughout the, you know using the other cards throughout the match is going to help your heroism go up every time you ko someone that'll make your heroism go up so everything you do in battle increase your heroism so that if you do get a heroic card in your deck to play you have enough heroism to use it so uh so yeah so that's kind of the basics there and then here this card here we're looking at inspire this is actually a very rare card and you can see it's activating her light abilities um the hunter has light and dark abilities depending on which one you use depends uh, you know on your interactions with the characters so you can level up light or dark you won't be you won't be able to level them up both equally to the top you'll have to pick one or the other to be full light or full dark um, but that doesn't make you a good person or a bad person. It kind of makes you like you're either more altruistic like an Avenger if you use light power or if you use dark power, you're more like an anti-hero like Blade and Ghost Rider. Um, so, but there will be some uh, negative effects of going to the dark side a little bit uh, when you use abilities. It might hurt. Um, and then you have Blade here coming in doing the final move. But Inspire is a very rare card, the one she just used a minute ago. And that allows you to play a card that costs heroism but for free. So basically, if you have a, her a heroic card and it says, or a card that says you need so much heroism to use it, you can use the Inspire card or a card like it if you have one in your deck, and that means you can use that card for free without using any of your heroism, which is good, good for strategy, because then that way you can maybe do two super moves or three in a battle if you, you know if you have enough uh, heroism and you have that card to do a super move without using heroism. So there are other cards like that. Um, you can find them at the Abbey. Like I said, you can unlock them there by interacting with characters and doing side quests, I assume. And we're going to get more into that in the next video. So the next video will be more about the Abbey. So I'm going to end here as we see Sabretooth jumping into battle and Wolverine showing up to you know help the hunter out. And that'll be the end of this video. So I just wanted to go over and show you a full battle, which usually they said lasts anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how tough the battle is for you. But typically battles go by pretty quickly. But don't worry, that doesn't mean you'll beat the game quickly, because apparently this is a 40 to 50, maybe even 60 hour game, depending on how in-depth you go with it and how many side quests you do and how many things you explore. So let me know what you think of this battle and this footage down below. And like I said, if you want to see the full version and presentation, I'll have a link to that down below as well. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in hell. Peace.